Just relax, relax, relax. There you go. Well done. Do we have a drop of whiskey now? I've made history in my life. <laughs> well, I'm proud of it, really. Yes, from all the Yes, from all the Yes, from all the staff here. They've been lovely. I know they were. My wife, she died here. But the true one, and everything I've had, even myself, I had prostate cancer, I had radiotherapy, that was 13 years ago. Um, but honestly, I don't think I'd go anywhere. In Great Britain, I think we've seen some absolutely delighted patients who are understanding quite what it means to be at the absolute start of this really long journey. Um, I've had some conversations with patients myself this morning, couldn't be more grateful, really excited that what's, they came in for an outpatient appointment and that's turned into them being able to go home and say I've been vaccinated. I think it's really easy for people not to understand quite what a major undertaking this is. I couldn't even start to list the amount of departments that have need to be involved. And I think if people just think about the logistics, not just of the physical space and the staff that are here, but the fact that this is a nationally reported delivery of a vaccine and all the bits that need to join up to do that, the extra staff we need to just be able to deliver something totally different to what we were doing last week. So a huge, momentous effort across the organisation.